Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Dhanda. Today we are going to talk about ONDC and what are its functions. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So, think of India and you immediately picture a vibrant crowded streets with more than 1 billion people. Crowds are definitely justified. Someone is either buying or selling something at all times. As a result, India's retail market today is more than 1 trillion dollars. With new e-commerce startups emerging each day, the main agenda is to move this retail market online so users can access more sellers and in turn sellers reach more buyers. For now, though most of this retail market still operates offline. In fact, in 2021 the online retail market was only a 55 billion dollar business that's less than 5% of the total market so we all know there is a huge opportunity here expanding this 5% share to just 20% could alone be a total game changer and the indian government's latest initiative aims for just that well now you all know i'm talking about ondc so what's ondc Well, ONDC is Open Network for Digital Commerce. Now, how is it similar to another game-changing network like UPI, and does it seriously have the potential to change the e-commerce space and industry? We'll talk about that only. Now, the comparison between UPI and ONDC is very appropriate. In fact, the ONDC network, in many ways, is built on the success of the UPI. But among the two networks. we all have a first hand experience using upi for transactions so learning about how it works will surely help us understand ondc better so let's get into it so just like upi connects banks sellers and customers into a network ondc also connects different e-commerce entities and retailers into a network Now let me explain this with an example. Suppose you use a platform like Amazon to buy products online. Now you are a user and Amazon is a platform. Now those retailers who are selling their products on Amazon are called as sellers. Here the user is connected with the seller via Amazon a platform. So all the steps are like discovering the product, then you place the order, then shipping and delivery and fulfillment. all is done by amazon so it's safe to say that this interaction all happens because of amazon and is mostly enabled by amazon platform only now let's get into how ondc changes this model now ondc breaks this platform dependency by creating a network that will eventually onboard different entities like platforms and aggregators which will include amazon flipkart PTM, WhatsApp, and so on. The sellers will be retail stores and restaurants that will be onboarded by these platforms, and the logistics fulfillment will be done by different platforms like Dunzo, Goodwill, and Loadshare. Now, once all these e-commerce players are onboarded on the network, ONDC does two things: unbundles their functions and enables interoperability. Well, it's more confusing, right? Now let's explain this in detail. Now Amazon in our previous example was performing a couple of different functions. It brings the user. Now it onboards the seller also. Then connects them both. Handles all the order details and finally delivers the product to the customers. Now with ONDC all these functions are unbundled meaning divided and different parties can fulfill each of those functions. the unbundling enables interoperability between different players to efficiently fulfill a single task so for example bringing the user can be done by amazon which can be called as function 1 while another functions such as onboarding seller and handling the order can be done by a local retailer and deliveries can be done by dunzo or load share now users usually have two three apps in their phone example paytm amazon and whatsapp so let's suppose 
you log into Paytm to buy a packet of bread. Now, when you search for bread on Paytm, it shows you two options: bread by a local Kirana store for forty rupees with no delivery, and bread by Blinkit, one twenty rupees with delivery. You choose the bread from the local Kirana store, and now you need to choose a service to fulfill the delivery. You will see Dunzo and Goodwill, which offer their delivery services for thirty rupees and forty rupees. Now you go with Dunzo. Now your total order value will be seventy rupees, which you can pay by UPI or cash on delivery. Now via the interaction on the ONDC network, Dunzo's delivery guy reaches the Kirana store, picks up your bread, and delivers it to you. So here, Paytm brings the user, Kirana store provides the product, and Dunzo delivers the product. All three parties work in sync, and the value created. is also distributed accordingly now let's understand what ondc is not well you may be thinking okay fine ondc does all those things but is ondc an app or is ondc a platform now since ondc is essentially hosting all these different functions you may be wondering that it might be a super app well the simple answer is no well ondc is not a platform or a super app or even an application Well, it's also not a mediator between sellers and retailers or even aggregators. So ONDC is just a technology like UPI. So like UPI holds the details of all the parties participating in the financial network. ONDC also holds the same details of all the platforms and millions of sellers that participate in the network. Also, it is a set of protocol that lists the rules for how the interaction between the parties will take place so you can call it a super network that enables interaction between all the parties and sets rule for these interactions now as upi is usually plugged into different apps for example you can pay via upi on swiggy or even paytm similarly ondc can also be plugged into different e-commerce apps like say paytm or even whatsapp so when you open paytm or even whatsapp you can access the ondc network this means you can access all the buyers and sellers in the network that may or may not be affiliated with paytm so i hope you got an idea about what is ondc and how does ondc functions i hope you like the video and learned something new if you like the video hit the like button share this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this thank you and we'll see you in the next one